Hey guys, it's a beautiful autumn day in Tokyo, Japan, and what better to do than to look for new video games. So today I'm taking you to a shop called uh, Hard Off. It's uh, in the suburbs of Tokyo. You can actually find many of these shops in the suburbs. And what's good about them is that they're way cheaper than most of the inner city game shops. You can actually find like really good deals on old video games. So uh, this bike ride should take about, I don't know, like uh, one hour, I guess. It's like 20 kilometers, so it's a pretty long bike ride. I'm actually visiting two hard off shops today. Uh, they're quite near each other, so it should be very fun. So, you know, I'm taking my uh, bicycle right here, and, uh, you know, I'm going to show you a bit of the, uh, you know, suburbs of Tokyo, I guess. So, you know, just tag along and, you know, let's see what we can find. I guess uh, if you really gotta go, you can use this one if you get desperate. So yeah, it's always good to know that uh, everything is so convenient in Japan, even taking a crap. Okay, so I'm uh, about four kilometers outside of Tokyo. Uh, you kind of know that you're starting to like uh, enter the, the suburbs of uh, Tokyo when you see this kind of stuff. Um, this is something you really don't see like in the inner city parts of, of Tokyo. So it's it's always nice to see some greens. Um, that's something I kind of miss living in the, the city core. Many people don't know this, but they actually have uh, train cars running in Tokyo. They're quite rare to see, but uh, in the north side of Tokyo you can actually find them. I think this is like the only line that I know of, so pretty cool actually. I decided to stop for some sushi. It's uh, just like 100 yen, 105 yen a piece. So, uh, you know, like, it's a pretty good deal. I'm getting a bit hungry. So this is, I'm gonna have a bit of a break time. I think I'm halfway right now. I, I reached like eight kilometers. So uh, yeah, it's time for some lunch. So I finished my uh, delicious sushi lunch and uh, I'm uh, gonna continue trying to find this hard off store. So, you know, stay with me. The steering wheel of my bike just broke. Actually, like this whole screw, uh, the screw here like fell down on the street and uh, I just went by this bicycle shop over here and the staff were like friendly enough to fix it for free. Uh, they didn't even charge me anything which is uh, one good thing about Japan, people are so helpful. Uh, whenever you get into trouble there's like, you know, people will help you, you know, without asking anything back. So that was really nice. So uh, I can continue my journey right now. from this uh, part of store. I've never been here before so I have no idea how much uh, stuff they're gonna have. Uh, as you can see it's also like uh, an off house, if you can read it up there, which means that they also sell um, clothes, like secondhand clothes. So this is like a two stores combined basically. But uh, anyways guys, let's take a look inside and see what we can find. So this is pretty cool. They have uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for, uh, what is that? 
sorry, the... Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, 210 yen, which is a really good deal for a very good game. Like, I don't own a Mega Drive, but I def I'm gonna buy this one because it's a classic and, you know, if I ever get a Mega Drive, this is like the first game I would want to get. So yeah, this is a good find. I love this title, it's so simple, it's just like, got them baseball. It's not like, no fucking like, sports personality or no, no year, it's just baseball. Uh, and I think that's really fun, that's what, you know, all the sports games should just be like hockey, baseball, golf. It would be so much more simple, I think. Same thing here, it's just got them pinball. Nothing else. <laughs> Fantasy Star 3. Uh, this is a really shitty game, by the way. I don't recommend anybody to play it. People should play 1, 2, and 4 instead. Way better. Uh, Street Fighter 03 or Street Fighter Alpha 3 in uh, US and Europe. 105 yen. Uh, this is a good game for a very good price. I'm getting this one as well. The corner with like various, you know, video game junk, like controllers and stuff. Uh, systems that they don't really know if it works or not, so I'm actually trying to find parts for a Nintendo GameCube right now because I found a GameCube for like 200 yen and it seems to be working, so I just want to like see if I can find the, the right cores for it. If I can do that, I'm definitely gonna buy it. And I'm thinking about buying a Nintendo 64 yeah, as well. Super Scope still in the box for uh, 525 yen. This is quite big, I mean I'm taking the bicycle, so I don't know if I can buy it now, but it's really tempting to own it in a really good condition. And I also found uh, five controller ports for the PC Engine, really good if you want to play for example like Bomberman, which is a great game for the PC Engine. So I'm, I'm buying this one as well, absolutely. Uh, so I'm leaving the first Hard Off store, it was really good, I managed to buy like around 10 items, I'm gonna show you later when I get home uh, what I got, because uh, my battery is actually running out on the phone, so I have to be a bit quick with this one. So now I'm gonna find the other Hard Off store. It should be about like, um, I think like three kilometers from here. So uh, I'm gonna get there as quick as possible, try to find some more stuff, and then uh, I'll show you what I got. So see you in a while. place seems to be a bit more uh, organized when it comes to the games this is like so much I'm sure I'm gonna find like uh, some really neat stuff we got the Pokemon exclusive Nintendo 64 still in the box Super Nintendo for uh, 5250 and the original Famicom still in the box uh, yeah I mean this is gonna take a while but uh wow well, pretty cool Castlevania for the Nintendo 64 uh, it's gonna take a while and I don't have that much battery left on my phone, but uh, if I find something good I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know so uh, stay tuned um, Zelda Link to the Past the Japanese version for 500 yen That's a bargain. I mean, that's uh, I have to get this one fucking classic game never played the Japanese one though Don't think it's that different, but it would be fun to try You know trying to play this in Japanese now when I kind of know the language of it So this is a game I'm getting right now um, Street Fighter Zero 2 for the Super Nintendo. I mean, I still own, I own this for the Sega Saturn, so I don't really see a point, you know, getting it. Since it's probably gonna suck. But uh, still a good game for the Super Nintendo. Uh, Mega Man X for a thousand yen. Uh, it sells for about two thousand, three thousand yen at Super Potato, so I think this is a pretty good deal. Uh, I might get this one, actually. It's a, one of my favorite games for the system, so... I'm putting this in the pile as well. So this is the Famicom games. As you can see, there's uh, there's quite a lot of them. Uh, anyways, like my battery is gonna die uh, any second now, so I guess this is goodbye for now. Uh, as soon as I get home, I'm gonna show you, you know, everything I got because I'm thinking that, as I said, this is uh, one of the best hard off shops I've been to, and uh, there's so much stuff I have to look through. So uh, I mean, 
I'll talk to you in a few hours and then, you know, let's go through everything. Until then, you know, have a good time, guys. Hello, guys. Uh, I'm finally back home. Uh, it took me way longer to bicycle home than it took to go there. Uh, I got a bit lost and my uh, Google Maps app, you know, stopped working. So that was pretty hard. But uh, I'm back home now and uh, I want to show you what I got. Uh, to start off with, I got two Sega Saturn arcade sticks. As I said, I'm, the Saturn is great for 2D fighters and these were like so cheap that I, I was like, I just buy two and it's gonna be so fun in the future when I play like uh, 2D fighters. I also got the PC Engine uh, controller, you know, like, I can say, you can play like with more controllers. Usually with the PC Engine you can only play with one controller, but now you can play with like five. It was a bit dirty, uh, I think I can like wash it up a bit, maybe. Uh, but it was only like uh, 315 yen, so it's totally worth it. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. Uh, I also found a Nintendo 64. So this uh, was in the junk corner, I haven't tried it yet. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. And I found the cables were as well. And the cables were actually like about 300 yen each. But when I bought it, I connected everything to the system and the girl in the counter didn't even notice the price on these two. So she thought like everything was 350 yen. Uh, so that was quite lucky, but either way, like, that's insane for N64. Uh, I don't have a controller, I'm gonna buy one, but, I mean, I, I really wanted one, and uh, I found one to a great price, so. And then for the PlayStation 1, I got one game, it's uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3. I don't think that this is a really good version, like, the Dreamcast version is superior to this one. Uh, and it had, like, a small crack on the cover, but for, like, 105 yen, it's uh, totally worth it. I, I kind of like to collect the Street Fighter stuff because uh, I'm a huge fan. And for the Nintendo 64, like I, own, I already own two games. The one you can see like in the corner over there, that's uh, Super Mario 64 and Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, I bought them even though I didn't have a 64, I just thought it was like nice to have them. But now when I actually have a 64, I have, I have a few more games that I have to buy. Number one being Lilith Wars or Star Fox as it's called in Europe and Japan. Uh, great game. I got Yoshi's uh, Story, the sequel to Yoshi's Island. Uh, one of my friends, Marcus, likes this. I'm not like a huge fan, but I thought it would be fun. He might like it if he ever comes by, he can play it. And uh, another great game, F-Zero X. Probably the best racing game for the system. Really fun, even holds up to this day. Uh, for the Super Nintendo, I found uh, Pilot Wings. This was one of the first games I played for the Super Nintendo, actually, and still to this day, I think it's really cool. Uh, it's such a good idea. I wish they would do like a new version. I think they did already for the 3S, I think, but uh, I haven't played that one yet. Probably good. Uh, I got Mega Man X or Rockman X, uh, 1,000 yen, 1,029. But I mean, this is cheap. Usually it sells for around 3,000 yen or 2,000 yen. And I found a link to the past for 504 yen. Also very cheap, great condition. Uh, this is one of the reasons why you should try to hit the super, super no, the hard of stores. Uh, like Super Potato is really interesting and it's nice to go there, but they're really expensive. Like people don't know this, but Super Potato overcharge so much for games. Uh, so if you have a bit more time, just try to go to the suburbs of Tokyo by train or by bicycle and, and you know, try to find games there because you can find way more and you can find it to like better prices and it's more like interesting, it feels like you're kind of digging in the crates and you're looking for that special game uh, which you can find sometimes like I did with, uh, for example, Zelda or this one too. I found Sonic 1. I don't own a Mega Drive but this was in a great condition and this is a classic game. And I also found, oh sorry, this is Sonic 2, uh, this is Sonic 1. So I found both Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 for 700 yen. And just having these two games, even though I don't have a Mega Drive yet, I'm really happy to own them, because they are amazing. Uh, for the Saturn, I have a, a small surprise actually. I went a bit nuts today, but I'm gonna explain it later. But um, yeah, I got this game, Laser Section. Uh, it's a shooter made by Taito and most of the shooters they make are usually good. I read a bit, I read about this a bit and it's supposed to be a great game. Uh, it, sell, uh, it sold for uh, 819 yen so it's not that expensive. It looks really cool actually. Uh, 
this game I have no idea what it is. It seems to be like a fighting game of some some sort. I don't know, it was 105 yen. It's made by Data East. I like Data East. They usually make really good games, so this might be a good game. I don't know. And I got uh, Real Bout. This is something in the... Not Final Fight universe. It's, uh, yeah. It's a fighting game. Uh, yeah, it's Fatal Fury, I guess. Part of the Fatal Fury series. Made by SNK. You know, they never disappoint. So, for 200, 300 yen, it's not bad. But um, on my way home, uh, I stumbled across like a, a real proper game shop uh, that had like, mainly they were selling new games, but they had, they had a corner for, for older games. And they seemed to have like no idea what to charge. Like they, some of the games were really expensive, the older games, but some of the games that that are quite expensive at Super Potato or on eBay were really cheap. For example, Sonic Jam is a pretty sought after game even in Japan. And for 500 yen in this condition, that's a, that's a bargain. Um, so I was really happy to get that. But then when I was walking out, I looked into their like glass, uh, the glass locker where they promote like the more expensive games. And just to sum it up, this game, uh, Radiant Silver Gun, if you don't know about it, it's like the holy grail among Saturn collectors. This one and Panzer Dragon um, Saga, I would say are the rarest games or the most pricey games. This game sells on eBay for at least $200, sometimes $300. The, the staff uh, didn't even seem to know what this was. I was like, uh, can I buy Radiant Silver Gun? I said in Japanese and I was like, oh, what, what, uh, we don't know what that is. I was like, it's a game you have uh, in the Sega Saturn section, like in the glass locker. And I was like, oh yeah. And I paid um, 8,500 yen for this game. That's about, I would say like $80 maybe, which is insanely cheap. And it's in a great condition. It's almost like a mint condition. It has it doesn't have a scratch on it or anything. If I sold this on eBay, I'm pretty sure I could get at least $200, maybe more. But uh, this is a game you don't really want to sell. This is a classic. This is one of the best shooters ever made. And I'm so happy to have it in my collection. Uh, so this was probably the... I don't know, it was kind of surprising for me. Even for me that I found it and I bought it. Uh, it wasn't really planned. But anyways, guys, um, that's what I got for today. And aside from this, which was super expensive. Not super expensive, like it was way more expensive than the other games. Um, for all this that you see on the table right now, I would say that I paid about 7,000 yen, which is, yeah, like $65 or something, which is really cheap for everything that I got. And then if you add this, you have to add like 8,500 yen more. But all in all, it's uh, very cheap for what I got, so I'm really happy about my uh, hard off visit, and um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you want to know more about uh, retro gaming in Tokyo, just let me know, send me a mail or whatever. Anyways, uh, peace out guys, have a good one.